Welcome back to the channel. Today I want to talk to you a little bit about work camping and what the experience is like. <clears throat> Most people have no idea what work camping is about. So today I'm going to cover that a little bit. camping this is what you get to see when you're work camping work camping is like this having to get rid of this stuff and of course work camping is like this I've got to clean up the fire ring and clean up their mess Hold up a minute. We started talking about picking up trash and how beautiful it is outside, but the thing that I really want to talk to you about is what is work camping? Now that's probably one of the most major things that there is. What is work camping? Well, let me give you a couple of things to go with work camping. Work camping, <clears throat> the word work and camping. In most places, you can find that we've crammed those two words together and took out the C. So it's like work amping. What it really amounts to is no matter how you spell this, work camping or work camping, it all means one thing. What work camping means is that you're camping and working. It's not like being off for a little weekend trip and doing something. You're literally going and camping someplace and you have a job someplace. Now, it could be the fact is that your job is at the campground and so they break it down. If you're at the campground and you have a job, sometimes the jobs are non-paid so you're like volunteer in exchange for your campsite. And sometimes you're, you're, you have partial hours that you have to exchange and you're paid for the rest. Sometimes you're paid for all the hours that you work and you still get the free site. And there's some that uh, they actually want you to pay for the campsite and work for them without any wage. So it's kind of weird. Anyway, the one that I'm showing you here that I'm in the golf cart riding around, cleaning up trash and stuff like that, that campground has me working for 24, 21 hours a week in exchange for my campsite. Now, some people would say, that's kind of expensive. Well, yes, but this is one of the premier campgrounds. If you're looking for some little podunk thing alongside the road, yeah, you can probably get in there cheaper. Now, 21 hours was my free campsite, so 21 hours a week in exchange for a free campsite. All utilities, Wi-Fi, I didn't have to pay for anything. If I wanted to wash my clothes, I had to pay for that. Okay, so now we got work camping. We got it broke down to where you're either in exchange for volunteer hours or you're exchange for volunteer hours plus pay or you're getting paid for all your hours or maybe you're having to pay for the campsite so that's work camping now let me break it down one other thing work camping could be that you're staying at a campground someplace you're paying for the campground and working off property someplace else okay so as an example I'm at a campground now and I work locally at one of the tourist attractions four days a week but I'm not exchanging that. I'm actually getting paid and paying for my campsite, so I'm technically still work camping. Okay, now let me break down some tasks that you may have when you're at a campground someplace and you're work camping at the campground. So you may be involved with maintenance, grounds maintenance. You may have uh, positions where you could be in office, uh, receiving people, collecting payments, or like a store where you're actually interacting with retail customers and collecting money and, and giving change and stuff like that. Or it could be that maybe you're, uh, one of your tasks is filling propane or running a lawnmower, string trimmer, or a chainsaw. There's a lot of different functions. So you could be in like, example, uh, landscaping, grounds maintenance, building maintenance, office, or 
It could be doing uh, reservations. There's a variety of different things. It could be supervisory. Um, so there's a lot of different things that you can do. It. Now, I'm going to add a link. I'm going to put a link right up top of here. Maybe it's on this side. But anyway, I'm putting a link up there for you on some of the places that you can go to get work camping jobs. Now, there's a variety of things you can do. You can Google it or search different things. But I'm going to add a couple of links for you. It will also be in the description. One thing I wanted to find differently is work camping is not camp hosting. That's a little bit different. And I'm going to have a separate video that will be coming out for that on camp hosting and the responsibilities with that. Okay, guys, I'm going to take you back to the video and show you a little bit about uh, some of the things that has to happen and the equipment that I operate at the campground uh, that I've been, my last campground I've been working at. Okay, so there we go. Back to the video. But as I'm cleaning up the fire rings, I get to stay beside things like this. Isn't this beautiful? The enjoyment that you actually get to have while working as a work camper. One function I have as a work camper is also do some maintenance in some of the uh, cabins that are on the property. So I just got a buzz from one of the teams saying that I need to go check out a cabin. There's a leak. Let's go take care of that. That was a major leak in that sink. Well, I thought I would end it right here and I would like to thank everybody for taking the time to watch this all the way through. And um, <clears throat> so if you liked what you saw, please subscribe and do all the other good stuff on there. Give me a thumbs up and if you got any questions, leave it in the comments so I can take and uh, respond to you and maybe make an additional video about your comments.